Hey you guys, welcome back. So today's video is about reusable items that are huge money savers, bathroom edition. I will have everything in the description box down below that I talk about. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Reusable facial rounds. I'm sure you guys have heard about this by now. It's everywhere. And not only can these little things save you a ton of money, but they can also help your skin in the long run. So when you are tugging at your skin with those wipes that are filled with who knows what kind of chemical in them, your skin can get irritated. It can have that burn-in sensation. When you switch to a reusable makeup round, most of those little washable rounds it says only add water. If you are that person that wears makeup every day or every other day, maybe invest in some reusable facial rounds or a facial little towel. I will have different sizes linked down below. There's like a makeup eraser one and then there's the little rounds. Whatever your preference is, it will be down there. But I must say that it is a huge relief knowing that that's one less thing that you need to buy for your little makeup collection. Reusable menstrual cycle products such as the cup, the pad, the underwear. I prefer the underwear because it's just so easy to slip on, super comfy, they do not leak. I have a whole video dedicated to this one topic, which I will link down below, but this also saves you a ton of money and it's one less thing to worry about when you are on or going on your period, ladies. You do not want to have to worry about like, oh, do I have pads or tampons? And you don't want to run to the store and, those days are over, not to mention the amount of chemicals or scents that are in those products that are at Walgreens, CVS, Target, the Always brand, Tampax, Pearl, whatever you purchase, there's always something in there that really shouldn't be going down there. So just do your own research. Maybe that will convince you to switch over to reusable slash washable menstrual cycle items. Wooden combs slash brushes. These items last a lot longer than those plastic brushes. When I used to have the plastic combs, the little like comb part, I don't know what you call it, the teeth of the comb would always snap after a while. So what I decided to do was swap it out for a bamboo comb. I'll have the one that I use linked down below. I've had it for over two years now, it travels to DR with me, it traveled to California with me, like when we were on vacation and stuff, and, and so far it has been the best comb I've ever owned in my life. I wish I would have switched to that a long time ago, but they are cheap to buy, it's around 12 to $15, and they last you a long time, and not just that, they are so much better for the environment. So if they do break, if they happen to break, when you throw them out, it's not going to create waste because unlike plastic, plastic does not break down. No matter what you do to it, it never breaks down. It can break into tiny little particles over and over again, but that's about it. When a bamboo comb doesn't really do that, it's easier to break down wood than plastic. So it's a win-win situation for your wallet and also for the environment. Reusable toilet paper. Now, I know this is not for everybody, this is not for me, but I wanted to add certain things in here that I do not do, but maybe you will like to do. So I'm just keeping a variety for people. Who knows, maybe one day we will change to that, but as of right now we're not. But the same company I get my reusable paper towels from also does reusable toilet paper. And I was very intrigued on this when I seen it. I've also been doing research on it. If you have a family of five or six, this can save you a ton of money because you're not purchasing toilet paper over and over and over again. And with nowadays, um, toilet paper, you're like limited. Because in our area, you're only allowed to buy like one pack per person. I don't know if your area is the same way ever since COVID. But they also bumped up the price to all of these toilet papers since they are such a need product. So if you switch to reusable toilet paper, it can save you a ton of money and also help the environment as well. Reusable shower curtains slash liners. I have been doing this ever since I moved out of my mom's house and my first apartment. If you guys go back to my first videos, I always tell you, purchase a reusable slash washable shower curtain. You don't even need a liner. All we have is one shower curtain and it does the job. No water comes out. When it's around the end of the month, I take it down and wash it. 
It's perfectly fine to go in the dryer as well, depending on what kind of fabric you get, as long as it doesn't shrink. For us, we haven't been really using the dryer, so when it comes out of the wash, I just put it right back hanging up into the tub like it was wet when we took a shower, so why not let it dry like that? And not only when it dries like that, it makes the bathroom smell really great as well from the laundry soap. But like I said, I have been doing this for years and I always tell my sisters, my mom, like switch over to washable shower curtains. It's going to save you so much money. Instead of purchasing those plastic liners and then they break after a certain amount of months or weeks, it, depending on whether you have kids tugging on it while they're taking a bath. Um, those plastic liners shouldn't even exist because it's just a huge waste of money and also horrible for the environment. So there's tons of different fabrics you can choose from nowadays and it's technically like a curtain for your tub if you really think of it. It's like your tub is the window and you just put a curtain. So that's kind of like what a shower curtain is. So what would you put plastic on your curtains in your living room? It's like, no. So why would you put plastic in your shower? reusable body scrubber this is something again i have been using for years i have the eco tools um glove now i had another one but i did lose it when i was moving because you know when you're moving you lose things um but when i came here i reordered a glove one so i just put the glove one on and then just scrub myself with it when i am done towards the end of the week i will throw it in the wash with my clothes I do not put them in the dryer so they do not um, shrink. I just hang them out to dry. Huge money saver. 10 times better than those loofahs. I've never had luck with loofahs. They always like extend out and then eventually they just rip on me within like three to four days. I don't know if I said I'm rough with them, but they don't last at all. So switching over to a washable body scrubber saves me so much money. Again, I will have a variety linked down below. So whatever your preference is, they're down there. Washable shower mats. This is another big one. So like I said with the shower curtains and the plastic, there's also plastic shower mats that we use for a good like five months and then we throw them out and buy a new one. But what if you just switch that to a washable one? And also not just a washable one, but do not get white. Whether it's washable or not, do not get a white shower mat. They're going to get dirty. They're going to get stained from us being in there all the time. It's white in the bathroom is just a big no-no so for me i would always get like black because black doesn't show like stains or like it does show soap scum but that comes off right when you go put it in the washer you can get a nude color like my blanket there's so many different colors um other than the white ones because obviously white gets very dull over time like i said but this is another money saver when it comes to your bathroom because it's one less thing that you have to think about forever probably because these things last a very very long time i had one at my old place and i just like left it there and then when i came here um my boyfriend already had one so it's, i was like you know what let me just leave that one there so when you are in walmart or target next time check out the washable mats they have them there they have them online and in, how you know that they're washable is it'll say it in the back. So the plastic ones are not. When you put the plastic ones in the wash, they fall apart or those little sucky things disappear. I don't know where they go, but they always disappear. So just think about that. The next time you're in the shower, look down and be like, hmm, let me buy a reusable shower mat instead of repurchasing these mats over and over again. Washable toilet seat covers. Again, this is something that I don't do, but I have been seeing a lot of people that get rid of their toilet seat covers, like those foam ones. If you don't like a cold, like, you know, the regular toilet seat covers, some people like those foam ones. And the problem with those fluffy toilet seat covers is that they rip over time. And it's kind of like leather in your car, like it gets cracks, it rips it's done. They do have a ton of reusable ones on Amazon that I seen the other day and I was like, this is pretty cool. They're just made out of cloth. Um, the reviews are decent and it's just something to think about the next time you want to repurchase your toilet seat cover. Maybe rethink that purchase and purchase something that you don't have to purchase again, basically. And it's probably a lot more sanitary with you taking it off maybe each Friday or each week, whatever, whenever you guys do laundry, throwing it in the wash, then throwing it in the dryer or hanging it out to dry, and then putting it back on. Instead of having that one ripped toilet seat cover just 
sitting there for months until you decide to repurchase a new one. Change your bathroom bulbs. This is not a reusable item, but I wanted to add this in here because it's a huge money saver. Now, when I moved in here, my boyfriend told me that the, the electricity bill is always high, so beware. And I was like, hmm, let me change that. So I changed the bulbs in the bathroom because we don't have any ceiling lights or anything like that. I changed the bulbs in the bathroom. I changed the bulbs in the lamps along with like keeping the AC on once in a great while. So with all, doing all of that, our electric bill went down. And I think it went down significantly because of the bulbs that we had. The bulbs in the bathroom is about three on the mirror and those were just your regular bulbs, not energy saving bulbs. And I was like, hmm, we're always in the bathroom. Sometimes we leave the bathroom light on, we forget. And I bet you that's probably what's making the bill go high. I learned all of this when I was in my old apartment and I purchased these bulbs. Um, they're actually shatterproof as well, so when you drop them, they don't break. I haven't had not one bulb burnt out or shattered on me because it just, it never happens. Every time I drop them, they would just be rolling around. You just pick it up and put it back in the lamp. Now, he said it was around 130 to 150 when I wasn't here. Now it's $60 a month. Of course, that is with um, me doing other things like unplugging the microwave, and, all that stuff as well but I think changing the bulbs to your bathroom to like the areas that you always go in and always turn the light on and off those are the things that are going to save you a ton of money random little item not reusable but just a little tip last thing on the list is multi-purpose skincare items this can save you money along with space so what I mean by this is if you have a face wash, maybe try to get a face wash that's also a makeup remover, such as the Pacifica Kale Detox that I use. I'll have it linked down below. I've been using it for years. Every time I'm done filming, I will go wash my face with that to take the makeup off. Every time I'm in the shower or if it's the end of the day and I'm not filming and I'm not wearing makeup, I will still use that because it's a face wash at the end of the day. And again, it's one less thing you need to think about instead of buying like, all right, I need a makeup remover, I need a face wash, I need a toner, I need a moisturizer. Why not get products that are multi-purpose, such as a body oil, an oil that is a moisturizer, um, has vitamin C in it, and it's also not just good for your face, but good for your whole body. So you do not have to purchase a bunch of different oils, one for your face, one for your neck, one for your hands, and I have seen this, where they categorize each body part into different little products. And that's where the marketing scam comes in. So the next time you run out of your makeup remover or your face wash, do some research on what is healthier for you, what is a better multi-purpose item for you. Um, if you wanna go the natural way out, like I do sometimes, I will wash my face with some water and then I will cut an aloe leaf from the grocery store, it's like a dollar. I always have it on deck, it's in the um, fridge right now. Huge aloe leaf, cut a little bit, not even a quarter inch of it, and I will um, start rubbing it on my face, my neck, leave it on for a little bit, wash it off, and voila. It basically moisturized my face, washed my face, and it also helps with acne scars as well. So there's so many different ways you can go when it comes to saving money on your skincare products. Also, if you are putting like an eyelash serum, stop that. <laughs> Just get yourself some black Jamaican castor oil. I have been using it for years. It's helped me grow up my eyebrows. My eyebrows did not look like this. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know how my eyebrows used to look. Um, but I also use it for my eyelashes. It's just, it helps out so much and it's natural. And also it lasts a very long time and it's cheap. Anyways, you guys, I really hoped you enjoyed this video and there will be a part two. I'm hoping to do like a kitchen one very soon. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you in the next video.